Okay, everybody, so what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be showing you how to fix some wobble in some footage that you have. So let's say, let's do the, let's do the tree first. So I've got this shot of this tree here. Static shot, but you can see that there's a bit of wobble in there. So what I'll do is I'll drag this down to my timeline and zoom in and we've got my shot there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is we need to apply an effect and this effect is the warp stabilizer. So I'm going to go over here to my effects. If you don't have effects in your kind of Premiere setup, you can go up to a window and choose effects here. And it'll bring it up. Sometimes you have to hit these two little arrows on the side to see what's in this window. We're going to go into our searching over here and I'm going to type in warp. And you'll see that we have warp stabilizer here. To apply that, just click and drag and place it over the top of your video. And you'll notice that you get this blue bar over the top. So what Premiere is doing is it's actually analyzing this video clip, having a look at all the movement, trying to work out what's even in the clip because it doesn't know there's a tree or a house in the background or anything like that. And you'll see over here on the left, it's at frame 90 of 106. So it's taking a little bit of time to analyzing it. Once that's done, you'll see it goes orange and has stabilizing and it should be good to go. Okay, so let's just take this back and play this and see what kind of a result we have. Okay, already that's way better. I'm gonna duplicate this and turn off the warp stabilizer and show you the difference. So here it is fixed. And then here it is before. Okay, you may not be seeing that as clearly on the stream because we're live streaming, but that's a big difference. So I'm gonna go back to my first clip and you have some adjustments you can make in here. So the smoothness, this is one of the main things you're gonna change. This is how much is applying that smoothing filter. So if I take this to be 10% and hit return, it will think about it with stabilizing and then it's ready and I'll push play. And you see that some of the wobble is still there, but it's a lot better than the original. Let's take this up to 70%. And let's play this back. That's nearly locked straight and correct. Let's go back to the original. Heaps of movement there. Okay, let's try 100%. I never do 100% with Warp Stabilizer, but because this is a still shot, this may work good. Okay, that's pretty much as good as you can expect. And then the original, super shaky. Okay, so this is on a static shot here. So you could do this if you um, had like a street scene or if you were doing an interview and you had some slight shakes in your camera. You have your person here in the middle. You could do this over here. Okay, let's do another test. Let's go back to my clips and let's try this flower here. Okay, so I've got this shot of this flower and you can see that there's a bit of wobbles there. It's really hard to hold the camera steady when you've got a zoomed up shot like this. So let's bring our flower down. Super shaky. I'm gonna shorten this down just a little bit so the analyzing time doesn't take as long. Okay, and oh, this is the one we're gonna keep for our before, and this would be our after. So we're gonna select that clip, go to our effects tab, drag over warp stabilizer, apply it. It's gonna be thinking about it. And you can see how this takes a little bit of time. This is only uh, what two second clip. So if you have a long interview or if you have a long shot where you're walking down the street, you will have to wait a bit of time to do the analyzing. So you gotta be prepared for that, but it can be super worth it. Okay, so let's have a look how this worked. That's pretty good. Let's go back to the original. Way shakier. So you can see that it hasn't gotten rid of all the um, camera movement, but it's softened it all. It's kind of mellowed it out. So this is a little bit of movement. And then watch how jerky and kind of almost digital and electronic the movement of the original was. There's a lot more sudden movements, whereas this one is smoother. Okay, so let's make this 100%. Give it a second, and then let's play this back. That's pretty good in the original. You can see a big difference there. So the other thing to um, look at is, do you see how there's the background seems to be shifting and wobbling a little bit, maybe up in this right corner up here when I move it back and forth. 
See how it kind of goes a little bit jello-y and a little bit elastic. Now the original has some of that movement, but it's not as wobbly and jello-y kind of in the background. And what's happening here is subspace warp is ticked. And what that's doing is it's adjusting little segments, stretching and pulling all in here. And that can work sometimes, but sometimes I can give it a bit of a wobbly sort of look. So we're gonna change the method over here. We're gonna change this to be position, scale and rotation. So all that's going to be doing is adjusting the position of the video to stabilize it, the rotation and the scale. So making it bigger and smaller. We won't be doing any of that kind of jello-y warping adjustments on the side. So let's see if that made a difference. Ah, that's much better. It's more stable and there's less wobbling over here in the background. So sometimes depending on the results, you may need to, I'm gonna go back to the warp over here. Yeah, the background has a little bit more of that wobble. So I'm gonna keep that on position, scale and rotation. So this is what you need to adjust if you're doing some stabilization, if you're doing it on an interview, or maybe you have somebody talking on camera, you may need to change this to get it to look right. Let's adjust this down to 30%, see what the difference is like. 30% isn't too bad. So normally I stay around the 20 to 30% mark, um, but you're free to go up to 100 if you like. Okay, so we've adjusted our flowers there. Let's see what other clip we have. Ah, walking. Oh, this is a good one. Okay, so I've got this shot of walking. Super shaky, this is terrible. You would not want to use this. So I filmed this with the stabilization on the lens turned off, just to give you an example. Super shaky, let's bring it down. And I'll duplicate this one. So we have an after and a before. And let's go to our warp stabilizer, drag it on. It's gonna think about it. And so if you do some filming using a built-in stabilizer on the lens, um, sometimes that won't work as well with the warp stabilizer because the camera has already done some stabilization and uh, the warp stabilizer kind of doesn't know what to do with some of that uh, movement the camera and lens puts in. So experiment with that. Sometimes when I'm doing filming, I'll actually choose to have my stabilization on my lens turned off because I know that if it's off, I'll get some shapes, but the warp stabilizer in Premiere can soften those better than if there was a stabilization already done in camera. So it's good to do a test and see what it's going to look like. Okay, so we've analyzed, let's hit play. Oh my gosh, that's just magic. <laughs> I didn't actually think it was gonna turn out that good. Okay, let's go back to the original. That is disgusting and terrible. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Okay, so um, this is me walking handheld and I wasn't even trying to keep the camera very steady. I was trying to make it a bit shaky for this lesson and this is the result you can get. And now, oh, okay, here we go. I get to show you a bit of the warping. So here, everything looks nice and smooth and it's this last bit of movement here. You can see how, to the look to the side over here of the fence, you can see how it kind of wobbles a little bit. And this part here with the jacaranda on the left, you can notice that it goes a little bit jello-y. That's because we have subspace warp set on. So let's change this. Let's change this to position, scale, rotation. Position, scale, rotation is normally the setting that I'll use when I'm doing this. So now if we move this back and forth, oh, we still get a little bit of wobble there. Okay. Yeah, I don't like that at all. Okay, so let's go back to warp. Let's see if this is a little bit better. Okay, so it looks like warp is gonna be the best choice for this shot here. Let's take this down to 20%. Let's see what kind of a difference we get here. Okay, so you can see that it's a bit stabler than this one. <laughs> Actually, a lot stabler, but there's still a little bit of natural movement there. So depending on your shot, you may still want a little bit of wobble because it looks like somebody's walking. But let's take this up to 80%. And I'm gonna go through this and you can see that it's super stable now. So depending on the result you're looking for, adjust this down here. You may want it to be lower so it looks a bit more natural like somebody's walking 
or you may want it to be higher like that. And now the thing with the warp stabilizer is if you drag in or out your clip like this and then bring it back out, you will need to analyze your clip again. Because what you're doing is you're adding extra frames that Premiere hasn't actually analyzed. So um, be wary of that when you're making some changes. Okay, and that's done. Okay, so that's fantastic. So Warp Stabilizer, there you go for that one. Experiment with that. You don't want to rely on it in Premiere, but it's there if you need it to help you out get some stabilizing. Um, okay, so the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to fix and rotate a clip. So you can see this clip here, just some skyline with some nice Queenslanders. It's tilted. Whoever set up the tripod um, didn't set it up right. And it's a bit tilted, but there's a way you can fix that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this clip and then up in the top left, you want to choose effect controls. If you don't have that selected, window, effect controls. And what you're making sure is that this clip is selected and you can see all this blue text here. If you don't have a clip selected, you won't see anything. Okay, so we've got a clip here. And now you can notice that we have position and we have two little numbers here to tell us where it is vertically and horizontally in the clip. So if I click and drag these numbers, you can see that you can move it left and right. I'll do that. You can also type in here, 1000, shifts it to the left. And then scale, you can adjust this to zoom in and out like that. And then we have rotation. So what we're looking to do is we're looking to fix this tilt here. It's tilted down to the right. So what you can do is you can actually click and hold on this number where rotation is over here and rotate it left and right. See if you can get it kind of right about there. So it's about negative two degrees. Let's see, maybe let's make it a little bit more. So because that said negative two, let's go negative five. Negative five. So what I'm looking for here is the, the verticality in the windows. That's probably a little bit much. Let's go negative four. Okay, I'm going to be super precise, negative 3.5. Okay, that looks good to me. Okay, yeah, our video is fixed. No, it's terrible because we've rotated it. You've got these black lines over here. And why this happens is because our video was actually a perfect fit. As soon as you rotate it, of course, it starts cutting in. So we have invisible videos sitting over on this top left part and on this top right, and then we have black here. So what we need to do is we need to zoom in to fill these gaps. So I'm going to use my scale here, click once on the 100 and I'll try 105%. Okay, that's close, not perfect. We've still got a little bit of dark up there. Let's go 110. Almost done. There's a teeny tiny bit here on the top left and on the bottom right. So let's go 112. Okay, that looks good. I'm going to check through my footage. Okay, that seems pretty good. So if I play this back, I actually need to bring back the original clip to show you what it looked like. So this is the tilt and this is the repaired. So you can see a big difference there. So this is helpful if you are doing an interview or something and your whole interview, 20, 30, an hour long, it's tilted like this. Um, it can, you can quickly and easily rotate it to get it to look correct. And you won't have to do much rendering in Premiere um, to do this like a warp stabilizer because it's actually just applied to the clip and it's a super simple thing for Premiere to do. So you can actually fix that and get your footage stable. And now this has got a bit of wobble to it. So let's apply the warp stabilizer to this as well. And this is where you can see is doing analyzing how much you've actually rotated this clip to repair it. And this one is a bit of a longer clip. So this is gonna take about 20 seconds or so to analyze. So the thing with the scaling that I've done on this clip is we've zoomed it in to be 112% and you can zoom in a certain amount with HD footage and not notice. But if I went up to 200%, you'd start to get blurriness in the background of the clip. So if I did this clip and made it 200%, 
Uh, it looks good, but uh, it's a little bit murky, a little bit muddy as you go through, and it won't look very good when you play it back. So when you're zooming in on footage, I recommend not going too far with it. Okay, so our stabilization is done. Let's hit play. That's magic. That's cool. Here it was originally. Bit of wobbles and tilted. So here, I could change subspace warp. Let's try position scale rotation and let's crank this up to like 70. Play. And that's nearly perfect. Okay, so that's how you can fix some tilted footage, apply some warp stabilizer, and repair some other footage that you may have that's a bit wobbly and it can look nice and stable. Where's the walking on the fence? I love this one. Okay, here it is afterwards. And the before, oh my gosh, it's so bad. Okay, so experiment with the warp stabilizer. Um, and if you guys have anything else that you'd like us to cover in our quick streams, send us an email to the maps email address, be it uh, video, audio, any things specific, and we can see it doing a quick stream to help you out. Thanks, everybody.